Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. It's a tempting thought, isn't it? The forbidden fruit of the digital age. They whisper promises of free internet, secret data, and a glimpse behind the digital curtain. But here's the thing. Wi-Fi hacking, even for educational purposes, is a dangerous game. It's illegal. It's unethical. Think hefty fines and even jail time. So why are we even talking about it? Because to beat the bad guys, you need to understand how they think. By learning the tricks of the trade, you can better protect yourself from becoming a victim. Think of this as a peek into the mind of a criminal. We're going to explore the tools, techniques, and thought processes of a Wi-Fi hacker. But remember, this knowledge is for defense only. Use it wisely. By understanding both sides, we can create a safer, more secure digital world. Are you ready to dive in? Every craftsman needs their tools, and Wi-Fi hackers are no different. They rely on a specific set of software to pry open your network's defenses. One of the most popular is Kali Linux. Kali Linux isn't your grandma's operating system. It's a powerful open source platform specifically designed for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for cybersecurity professionals, and yes, even the bad guys. Inside Kali Linux, you'll find a treasure trove of tools. Aircrack NG is a classic. This suite of tools specializes in cracking WEP and WPAPSK keys, the passwords that protect your Wi-Fi. Then there's Reaver, a tool that relentlessly attacks WPS, that's Wi-Fi protected setup, a common security protocol until it cracks. It's brute force in action. But it's not just about the software. Hackers also use hardware like wireless adapters with enhanced capabilities. These adapters can pick up weaker signals and inject data into a network, making them essential for serious hacking endeavors. Remember, these tools just are just the tip of the iceberg. The world of Wi-Fi hacking is constantly evolving, with new tools and techniques emerging all the time. Imagine a predator stalking its prey. That's what a Wi-Fi hacker does when they're looking for a vulnerable network. They scan for weaknesses, for easy targets. The first step is reconnaissance. Hackers use tools like Aircrack NG to scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks. They gather information about each network, including its name or SSID, signal strength, and most importantly, its security protocol. WEP is like the old rusty lock on the shed. It's easily picked with the right tools. WPA and WPA2 are much stronger, but even they have weaknesses, especially if they're using outdated protocols or weak passwords. Hackers are also on the lookout for misconfigured networks. Maybe the router has default settings that were never changed, or perhaps there's a vulnerability in the firmware that can be exploited. Once a hacker has identified a potential target, they'll dig deeper. They might try to intercept data being transmitted over the network, huff hoping to snag usernames, passwords, or other sensitive information. Remember, in the world of Wi-Fi hacking, knowledge is power. The more a hacker knows about your network, the easier it is to exploit. Let's say a hacker has found their target, a vulnerable Wi-Fi network ripe for the picking. What happens next? This is where the real fun or danger begins. One common tactic is the man-in-the-middle attack. Imagine the hacker as a sneaky interceptor sitting between you and the internet. They can intercept all the data you send and receive, potentially capturing your passwords, credit card details, and other sensitive information. Another trick up their sleeve is the evil twin attack. This involves creating a fake Wi-Fi network that looks identical to the legitimate one. Unsuspecting users connect to the evil twin unknowingly handing over their login credentials and other data directly to the hacker. And then there's the brute force attack. This is where tools like Reaver come into play. They relentlessly try different password combinations until they crack the code and gain access to the network. The hacker's playground is a dangerous place, but by understanding their tactics, we can better defend our own networks from attack. Section 5, Cracking Web Networks, a step-by-step -step guide with Kali Linux. Now for the hands-on part. Remember, this is for educational purposes only. Do not try this on networks you don't own. First, you'll need Kali Linux. 
you can download it for free and install it on a spare computer or virtual machine. Once you're up and running, open a terminal window. Next, you'll use a tool called AirCrackNG to scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks. The command is simple, airmon ng start LAN 0, replace LAN 0 with your wireless interface. This puts your adapter into monitor mode, allowing it to see all the Wi-Fi traffic. Now let's find our target. Use the command aerodump ng WLAN 0 to list nearby networks. Look for one with web security, as that's what we're cracking today. Once you've found your target, it's time to start capturing data. Aircrack NG needs enough data packets to crack the web key. This might take a while, so be patient. Finally, when you've captured enough data, you can use Aircrack NG to crack the web key. This might take a few minutes or even hours, depending on the key's complexity and your computer's processing power. Congratulations, you've successfully cracked a web network. But remember, this is just the beginning. WPA WPA2 networks are much tougher to crack, requiring more advanced techniques. Section 6, Advanced Techniques, WPA WPA2 Attacks. Cracking web is like picking a lock with a bobby pin. It's doable, but WPA WPA2, that's like cracking a safe. It requires more sophisticated tools and techniques. One common method is the WPS brute force attack. Remember WPS, the feature that lets you connect to Wi-Fi with a PIN instead of a password? It's convenient, but it can also be a security nightmare. Hackers use tools like Reaver to brute force the WPS PIN. They try thousands of PIN combinations until they hit the jackpot. And once they're in, they have full access to the network. Another technique is the dictionary attack. This involves using a list of common passwords and trying them one by one until they find one that works. It's surprisingly effective, especially if people are using weak or easily guessable passwords. Then there's the evil twin attack we discussed earlier. This is particularly effective against WPA WPA2 networks because users often automatically connect to known networks. If a hacker sets up an evil twin with the same name as your home network, your device might connect to it without you even realizing it. The world of WPA WPA2 attacks is constantly evolving. New vulnerabilities are discovered all the time, and hackers are always finding new ways to exploit them. Section 7. The Importance of Strong Network Security Wi-Fi hacking is a real threat, and weak networks are easy targets. So what can you do to protect yourself? It all starts with strong network security. Think of your Wi-Fi network as your digital castle. You wouldn't leave the drawbridge down and the gate unlocked, would you? Strong network security is like raising the drawbridge and locking the gate. The first line of defense is your Wi-Fi password. Choose a strong, unique password with a mix of characters. Use the latest security protocol, like WPA3. Keep your router's firmware up to date. Remember, strong network security is an ongoing process. Section 8. Practical Tips for Securing Your Wi-Fi Network now that you understand the importance of strong network security, let's get practical. Here are some easy steps to secure your Wi-Fi network. First, change your router's default password. Default passwords are easily found online. Choose a strong, unique password. Second, disable WPS. If you're not using it, disable it. Third, enable your router's firewall. A firewall blocks unauthorized access. Fourth, use a VPN. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic. Finally, be mindful of public Wi-Fi. Public Wi-Fi networks are insecure. Avoid accessing sensitive information. If you must use public Wi-Fi, use a VPN. Every little bit helps. These steps can significantly improve your Wi-Fi security. Section 9. Staying ahead in the cybersecurity race. The world of cybersecurity is a constant arms race. As security researchers develop new ways to protect our data, hackers are hard at work finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities. It's a never-ending game of cat and mouse. The best way to stay ahead is to stay informed. Keep up with the latest security news and trends. Learn about new threats and vulnerabilities. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help. There are tons of resources available online and in your community to help you improve your cybersecurity posture. Remember, cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. By working together and staying informed, we can create a safer, more secure digital world for everyone.